Hi, I'm Destin Tucker, Director of Admissions at UT Martin. We make applying for admission very simple. Let's walk through the process together. First, you'll go to utm.edu slash apply. From here, you'll choose what type of student you are. So for today, let's look at the first year student application. Here is where you'll enter your personal information. Make sure to include an email address that you're going to check. I highly recommend you include a personal email address and not one that's affiliated with your high school or community college. Including your social security number helps us match up important information like your FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid. We do communicate a lot through mail, so please double check your address as you're entering it. We do ask about your family. We'd love to communicate with your parents as well, so please include their information on the application. We do ask if your parent or guardian attended UT Martin. Please answer that if they did. We will invite you to a cool luncheon the first day of classes, and we also offer some legacy scholarships that you might be eligible for. On the veteran information, if you or your family members were veterans, please include that information. We would love to connect you with our veteran services coordinator. And also if you're gonna be receiving military benefits, this really helps us be on the lookout for that. So I verified my email address and now it's asking me to create a username and password so that I can easily log back into my application later. And now it's asking me which term I want to enroll for. Right now I'm looking at fall 2021 and we have our main campus in Martin and we also have five centers as well as online programs that you can choose from. We ask for your high school counselor's information. By including your high school counselor's information, they'll receive a notification that you've applied for admission to UT Martin, and they'll be able to easily upload your transcript. We will need official transcripts and ACT scores as part of your application, but we do ask that you go ahead and enter them here so we'll know what we're looking for when they come in. And now my application is complete. You'll notice that I skipped over entering my senior classes. That part is optional. Feel free to enter them if you want to, but if you want to just wait and send them to us on your transcript, that is okay with us as well. Here you will be able to see that you can send your, you can download your official document request, which this is something you can give physically to your high school counselor in addition to the email that they've received. And you can send in your ACT scores if, you, if you'd like to as well. If you haven't taken them yet, no worries. Just send them in as soon as you take them and we'll process them at that point. And you can also pay your $30 application fee here. If you think you might be eligible for a fee waiver, you can visit utm.edu slash fee waiver. And that's it. It's that simple to apply to UT Martin. Once we receive your application, your transcript, and your test scores, if you've taken the ACT, we will process your application in less than two weeks. You'll receive a text message notification from us that you've been accepted, and you'll receive an official letter in the mail. We look forward to having you at UT Martin. Go Skyhawks!